attraction. I think she's obsessed with being liked, which um, a lot of Libras I met the same situation. That sometimes who they appear to be in public is not who they are in private. And because of that, I think it's really getting to her. And I think she's starting to use, in fact, for some time, I get the energy of her using like spells and other sources of manipulation of Hi everyone, welcome. Welcome back to No Light Time. My name is Hali, so grateful to have you all. Um, let's get into this reading. I'm doing three readings as I have been doing recently, where I pull three different um I do different three different videos in one. Um they've been going really well. I just sometimes <sighs> my, I don't have time to put up times timestamps. I will make sure to put them up for this. Also I don't put up timestamps for lives, so if you're asking for them, I don't do that. But the the topic I'm covering, I usually have um, the topic up as a comment. So just letting you know that. Okay, so let's get into the reading. I'm really excited to be doing this. So I decided to create this theme because I feel like energetically, I've been seeing people start to pick up on the end of certain celebrities reigns thrones and i'm seeing that a lot with beyonce i'm seeing that a lot with kim kardashian and i'm seeing that a lot with who's the last person i'm doing or hayley bieber so i don't know if you guys know this um some of you might know this if you've been following me but i used to live in la uh which is pretty much hollywood i dated two people in the industry uh two famous people and i feel like that has given me a different kind of perspective you know when i was younger i did know you know i say this quite often that i used to i lived for a long time in new york that's where i was born and a lot of people all the people from new york would say stay away from party stay away from this stay away from that anything that would expose me to this kind of lifestyle hollywood lifestyle so i've always not especially when it came to music because i used to be music always like steered away from it but something that's been very interesting and has been a reoccurring uh, event in my life is that i keep meeting people who used to work with beyonce and who are pretty much traumatized from their experiences and one story i had was i met this young lady i'm not going to say what her name is she deserves privacy but i met her um just before i moved to la actually she used to work with beyonce and she said that beyonce was full of ego and blah blah blah, blah. and you know before that i was like um on and off beehive person so it's full of music i admired like i bought into the whole marketing of her because a lot of it i believe is marketing but something that she said was that she doesn't write her own music and then I started to really go into the deep dive, like started to really do my own research about alleged artists copying her alleged copying of other artists. Um, I don't believe her to be an artist. I've said this before. I think she's very manufactured. But from um, an objective stance, I truly believe that something is going on. Something dark you know before i would say before lemonade she didn't have this like glaze right now she has like a glaze over her eyes and it's very concerning so i'm also picking up on a lot of you know everybody i have so many i, would, I don't want to say i have connections but i know a lot of people who know her and who've worked with her and i know someone who actually that's irrelevant but I saw something about her former dance captain, Ashley M. Everett, liking a few tweets about her practicing witchcraft. And I, I don't believe 
or witchcraft is bad or esoteric obviously because I read tarot I don't do spells but I am very I can pick up when people have been under spell but I can tell you this especially that's why the lemonade you know I was telling a friend my first red flag that I started to see through this whole Beyonce thing was that when she has her fans go after people she doesn't say anything unless it costs her money and I remember when the whole lemonade thing was going on people were suspecting who the lemonade is and they went viciously after different women and Beyonce kept quiet and I thought to myself that's so dark to just let people defend you like that in a very dark way it was almost like they were under a spell so I definitely do believe she cast spells in fact I was told of a ritual by somebody who has seen a ritual happen that is very dark too I can't really go into it that much but I've heard enough to know that I strongly believe Beyonce is very very deep into the dark occult you know some people will give it you know the i word um i wouldn't i don't know fully if it's the i word but there is definitely a dark realm that exists in the entertainment industry that a lot of sinister things happen in that realm and are actually rewarded for so I strongly believe especially you know they do that signage you know the symbols those symbols I believe mean more than just fun shapes to make you know even when I was younger you know even when I liked Beyonce a lot I still like her music but when I liked her a lot I remember just seeing like the symbols and I've always been it was ever since I was a kid I've always been the kind of person I don't just like to just follow other people I like to know why I'm doing what I'm doing maybe that's my Aquarius <laughs> but if somebody else like the triangle that they throw up you know I don't want to complete it because I think it's very sinister but I always thought this is why were they why are they doing this you know I never wanted to do it but I was like why are they doing this why are they doing this and turns out in my opinion it has a darker meaning so i'm calling this the witches of hollywood those who we know allegedly are practicing dark uh, witchery and when their reign will be over because people have caught i believe a lot of people are catching on to beyonce and what is going on um, especially because more and more people will come out and I strongly see that you know so <sighs> let's get into this um, please like the video comment and subscribe I love to hear what you guys have to say honestly uh, yeah so let's get into it seven of air eight of earth and two of water by the way I'm using the good tarot a lot of people a lot of you have been asking me um, not a lot, but a few of you have been asking me what tarot I'm using. I always forget, so that's what I'm using. So, I strongly see here, especially with the tour, you know, I did say before that I didn't see her going on tour, and all of a sudden she announced she's going on tour. And I was wondering why, you know, I was wondering very much why they're going on tour. And it seems to me like. Jay-Z and her relationship is very much about money. Very, very much about money. You know, I've had numerous people, personal people that I personally know, tell me that they saw him with another woman and she was in the area. So I'm sure she knows that he's not faithful. I'm sure it's basically, I believe, another Matthew Knowles, Tina Knowles situation where Matthew Knowles was cheating I believe even he was having something with Farah from the Destiny's Child back in the day and that's why he was pushing for her so much and that's why Beyonce didn't like her so much um, that's just my theory that's the energy I pick up on but you can tell and it has come out that he was cheating on her many many times a different woman until she had he had children basically uh, out of wedlock and with his mistresses so 
I definitely feel like, and I've predicted this before, that a lot is going to come out. 2025, so in the next two years, a lot is going to come out about Jay Z meeting somebody new. Now, this person, it's funny, I had a dream a long time ago. I think in 2016, I had a dream, a really long time ago. And actually, a lot of my dreams come true. Um, which kind of creeps me out because I'm like, is that going to come true? Is that going to come true? <laughs> but a lot of my dreams come true. And when I woke up from this, I remember telling my friend, wow, what an interesting dream. But I had this dream that Jay-Z and I were in a relationship. And I was driving on a motorcycle. And we were driving on a motorcycle and we were leaving in the dust. And behind us was Beyonce. She was looking at us like, mm, like really angry. And I wonder if that dream alludes to who he's going to meet. I definitely see him meeting somebody younger. Um, and he's going to take this woman very seriously. Obviously, I believe he's had other affairs. But I don't even think they're affairs. They're affairs to us. But to them, it's just a part of the relationship, you know. And I think she has too, actually. So... Once that starts to unravel, that's when people are going to see their true colors. Now, I don't always like to say, oh, Beyonce is, you know, to place lots of blame on Beyonce. I definitely think there's more going on with Beyonce um, than what meets the eye. And by that, I don't think she... How do I say this? I don't want to be derogatory towards um, the situation. But I think she might have some level of being on the spectrum. And not in a bad way. I think that, you know, a lot of people, they say Mozart was on the spectrum. And a lot of people that are very good at music. I had a friend tell me who used to dance with Beyonce. And she said to me that when they were rehearsing... Beyonce would get things very quickly, like, and that's a that's one of the signs, not necessarily of being autistic, but being on the spectrum. And obviously, I can't diagnose it, but I definitely feel like there's something like that with her. Um, so I do think a part of her was did kind of fall victim, and she was younger than he was, and I think her parents were very money hungry. But I also feel like her parents, and you know, this gave me a clue. I was watching an interview he did with Jesse Lee Peterson a long time ago. And he said, for a lot of these people in the industry, that's all they have. And it got me thinking, did Beyonce feel like all she had was music? Is that what, does, is that what makes her so cutthroat? You know, when you, you know, when you see people like Khalees, Khalees is a chef. Could, you know, she's done other things. But Beyonce is only stuck really to music. And she treats it like it's her end or and if you see other videos and stuff they kind of allude to Beyonce not having full mental control of herself and that's what's given me the energy that there's something else going on with her not something bad but something that would get her roped in to situations like with Jay-Z like with other um people that don't have her best interest at heart um i do think she has a nasty side to her too but i do think she's easy she's easily manipulate manipulate manipulated and in that manipulation kind of reminds me of rachel from <laughs> vanderpump rules actually in that manipulation she falls prey to darkness and um she's a son of over too which is very very interesting actually very interesting. So at the bottom of the deck being transformation, I see that I did see her moving to Europe. I see it almost like her having to leave, you know, um, the US. And by the way, Beehive, I don't care about what you want. I really could not be bothered. I'm not afraid of the Beehive. I'm not afraid of anybody, but especially not the Beehive because I know it's all talk, no action. So, 
I see her almost having to run away um, and kind of be stripped of a lot. Let's see. I get this image of like being stripped of her hair, of her, of a lot. Okay. Oh, wow. So with the world temptation, hi my yes. So her being stripped of like titles. I wonder what's going to happen. I'm just getting fragments, but I see her being stripped of titles. I wonder if somebody is going to come forward and say she stole something from them. Kind of like a mini vanilla esque type situation. But I see her being stripped of a title of something. Um, and I always say this is intuitive based, it's not fact based. I usually am not accurate though, I won't even lie. Sometimes I freak myself out. I'm like, oh my gosh, I was pretty, I was dead on with that. But it's not me, it's I'm a medium for situations to play themselves through me. That's why I have to have the angels protecting the reading because I just see what comes up. But with six of earth and strength, um, she's going to blame a lot of Jay-Z. She's going to say Jay-Z made her do this, Jay-Z made her do that. Basically, she's going to make herself a victim and say that Jay-Z pushed her into situations that she didn't want to be in and it's broken her so i say 2025 is kind of the last time we will hear of beyonce on such a high level and then things are going to start to crumble you know it's very unfortunate because i really wish she had stayed humble and a lot of people were warning her about the route she could have taken you know especially after i am sasha fears there were lots of legends protecting her guiding her and it's funny because a lot of them hint that they asked her to stay away from jay-z because i think he's a very dark one day i'll do a reading on him he's a very dark sinister very sinister person um and i think once she got pushed into that side it was pretty much a wrap for her so let's move on we're gonna move on to kim kardashian um another who i believe I mean, if you look at the comments, so allegedly Tom Brady and Kim Kardashian were all hooked up and I was, <laughs> I'd love to read the comment section um, when I see like, especially with housewives, because <laughs> housewives people so, <laughs> are so opinionated, but I wanted to see just the overall reaction of Tom Brady and Kim Kardashian and I went on the comment page and I was like oh stay away from Kim K and I, I agree with that any man that if you believe you're worthy and valuable stay away from the Kardashians except for Kourtney, Kourtney's cool but the rest, Kardashian Jenner clan will only bring you down they'll only bring you down so let's see, when is the end of Throne. and you know it's interesting because okay if you're a libra please do not take offense to this but kim kardashian is a libra and i do not get along with most libras i think if there's one person that i really don't like in any situation it's somebody who's not willing to stand up for what they believe so i love people that are just upfront. you know where you stand with them the people i don't like are those that are sneaky and will agree with you and then turn around and say something completely different when you're not there and in my experience a lot of those people have been Libras in my life because they want to get along with everybody and true empowerment and self-growth and maturity is realizing that not everybody likes you not everybody has to like you and not everybody will like you and it's very freeing but i think a lot of libras get stuck in this i need to be liked by everybody and that creates real enemies so i see that a lot in kim kardashian i think she's obsessed with being liked which a, a lot of libras i met the same situation that sometimes who they appear to be in public is not who they are in private and because of that i think it's really getting to her and I think she's starting to use, in fact, for some time, I get the energy of her using like spells and other sources 
of manipulation of the general public to win over their favor but what I love about the human spirit is that it's very powerful it's very strong and people don't like being lied to <laughs> you know some people might buy it but especially I think that's why this show is not doing that well over time they start to be like you know what this looks fake this is fake it feels produced it feels manipulated especially considering how many times she particularly has lied to us as a general public so people are really starting to wake up to the lies the deceit the manipulation that i believe she and her mother mostly in our family are a part of so with knight of cups nine of cups and the hermit i see a new relationship now i don't know if it's tom brady let's see wow oh my gosh she might have a child with somebody else i really strongly believe that kim is in she's in competition with courtney and anyone in the family that does better on her than her she needs serious help serious 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 help and you know they say they go to therapy and i don't know if that's true this isn't behavior of somebody to mean that is going to therapy that's working if she is but let's see who this guy is there's definitely somebody she's talking to it might be tom brady oh my gosh tom brady please don't what is wrong with these men i just don't understand it she's gonna ruin your life okay let's see okay so <laughs> i think it is tom brady she's talking to the star king wants him of swords but he is going to see people are going to warn him so much he's going to listen um people are going to somebody's going to sit him down i think it's like a like a marketing person it's going to be like this is not good so she's gonna i think she's really been trying to rope him in because she sees money she doesn't see men she doesn't see people she sees money and popularity and he's she's gonna miss out on this four of cups you know it's missing opportunity but he's gonna be like i'm good thank goodness but i believe kim kardashian's throne is done that's why she's trying to scavenge at anything she can to stay relevant and we're going to see a lot more of that and it's only going to get worse for the next three years of her doing that okay please comment i'd love to hear what you say as always i say please be respectful you know even though we're not talking about such a light subject i still do like to keep it respectful about people that i'm talking about and of myself okay so last but not least is Haley bieber you know shockingly when I was doing a live on Justin Bieber, I saw that I strongly believe she has him under a spell. She's been doing black magic. <sighs> so disappointing. So let's see how he's going to come out of this. And when her end of throne will be. Because really the only thing she has going for her is him and he is going to see that i saw that i don't want to talk about his strategy because i want to keep it private you know in case she watches these videos i believe she does watch videos about it um so what a dark energy anyway so six of swords knight of cups and page of amusing amuse tarot the last deck i used was light says tarot um it seems to me here that she's kind of like playing coy it's funny i saw this thing it showed up on my instagram i don't really i don't have tiktok so i don't have a for i mean i do have for you on tiktok but i don't have one on what am i saying <laughs> i have a for you page on instagram but not on tiktok because i don't have tiktok so this showed up on my for you page on instagram and it said it showed Kim Kardashian and Hailey Bieber next to each other. And I was like, wow, just look at this fake of fake, fake, fake 
next to each other it's so fabricated so produced so so inauthentic and they wonder why people don't like them you know the general public celebrities are supposed to have some kind of likability you know but they really don't the two of them really really don't you see in the comment section i was just like people were ripping them to shreds <laughs> shreds and i don't wish that upon anybody it's just like if people continue to rip you to shreds i mean it's been at least three years of kim kardashian being ripped to shreds like take a hint you know go private for a little while and get your life together get your soul together but i suppose it's <laughs> beyond that it's beyond that at this point okay so two of cups so i see a new friendship coming um with Haley and somebody else and it's gonna be like a self-help person like a guru i see that very strongly she's gonna be like i'm getting my life together um but i believe it's all fake um people are gonna come after her again they're just gonna come kind of after her and i see her twisting the narrative as she loves to do and saying oh you know i can never escape making myself a victim and this is the dark side of sagittarius i other than me bro friendship wise the people that are like oh they love to get along with everybody has been sagittarius for me um i have two sagittarius that i love dearly friends but the others that I've met have been very, they lack the ability to take accountability. And I cannot stand that. So she's definitely like that. She lacks a, the ability to take accountability. And will constantly be like, oh, well, just because of that, everybody's coming after me. You know, when it's the complete opposite reason where people are coming after her and she's gonna be like it's because of her guys because of her nice because everybody you can't make yourself a victim for only so long like people realize it you know there was this i forgot where i heard this quote and it said you can't be the victim and the hero at the same time i thought wow that's so profound it's really really profound and that's what she wants she wants everybody to love her but be the victim at the same time and it doesn't go like that like if you make yourself a victim people will empathize with you they'll have compassion but they often look down upon you they're not looking up to you as a hero and that's what she wants so yeah two of pentacles <coughs> nine of pentacles and the strength so she's going to launch something else i did see i've been accurate i've been almost 100 percent accurate about her so she's just gonna launch everything selena launches she launches so she's gonna have a book out next yeah i see that a book and talk about bullying <laughs> so, you can't make this stuff up oh my gosh and say how she survived it and people are not gonna buy it it's all gonna get bought um but she is going to do something let's see something else like merch or something like that wow yeah she's gonna do much that's going to do well but the book's not going to do well i kind of feel like she might be buying her book she might be buying her merch she might be buying this stuff to make it seem like she did well but she didn't and there's a lot of evidence supporting that the kardashian jenners do the same thing and she's learning a lot from them a lot from them so that's what i have for you all i love you all thank you so much for watching Please comment, subscribe if you want to become a member. There's so many perks. Check it out in the membership tab. I love you all. Take care.